Now we want to perform the first step of the implementation of the water plant project. We start freelance engineering to create the project tree. First, let's have a look at the completed tree to get an impression what we are aiming for. You see three nodes under the control node. PS1 for process station, in our case emulator. OS1 for freelance operator station, and the third named UFB. UFB stands for user defined function block. If we open the PS1 node, we see two other well-known nodes. One user task list, and one system task list. Both were created automatically. Under the user task list, we find two tasks. One called sim, and the other one, plant. Sim task is responsible for the simulation of a real process. For example it generates the pressure in the pipe or the flow through it. The other one, called plant is responsible for the control of all process devices. For example, it opens the wealth or controls the pump. Under the plant task, we find three program lists. Inlet, tank, and outlet. As mentioned earlier, a program list is just a structural element to achieve a better overview of a task. If we open the water plant picture under the operator station, you will also recognize the mainstream parts here. The inlet pipe, the tank, and the outlet pipe. Under the program list, the function block diagrams are listed. Inlet contains three functional block diagrams. NP10 to control the pump. FI10 to scale the flow into the tank. And PI10 to scale the pressure in the inlet pipe. The program list tank contains two functional block diagrams. Trends performs a trend acquisition. Tank B10 supervises the level in the tank and controls the setting of the position. The program list outlet is very similar to the inlet list, but has an additional function block diagram, called NS21. This is a flap to adjust the water consumption. Finally we look what UFB contains. There we have a structural element called SIM, FU1, with the user-defined function block. FU1P, below. This function block contains the simulation of the process. It is used in a simulation task. A user-defined function block is a program created for dedicated purpose. What you will see now, is the entire project tree, for this very simple model. Let's now start with its implementation. Create a new project. And enter the configuration mode. Create a confi node, under the project node. To avoid repeating steps, we import again the template that we have already used in the foregoing session. Choose the Edit. Import block. Select Project Tree PRT. And open. The additional tree structure is added under the Pool node. Select all new notes related to the template, and move them under the Software node using drag and drop. Above a plant task, insert another task, name it sim. Under sim, insert the program list, and also name it, sim. Select program list sim, and insert function block diagram, name it sim. FU10. As we need two more, copy this one and paste it to the selected program list. Rename the new block. Paste again, and rename it. So sim tree is now complete. Now select the plants task and inserts the program list. Name it inlet. Insert the function block diagram below.
copy it and paste it twice to the selected plant task. We will now duplicate the entire program list. Collapse it, and then select, and copy it. Paste it under the plants task. Rename the program list as outlet. And the function block diagrams, as, NP21, FI21, and PI21. Insert below another diagram, and name it NS21. For freelance operation we need a graphic display. The picture we have seen several times. Such a bitmap is stored in a free graphic display. To create it, select OS1. Insert, next level, a graphic display, and name it, water plant. To finalize this one, double click on the new water plant display. Select elements, bitmap. Click into the top mouse left corner to position the graphic. In the dialog, click the import button to import the file water plant. If the bitmap is not correctly positioned, you can drag it to the desired position. In a further step, we would like to adjust the order of the program list of the plant task. Inlet should be at the top position, not at the bottom. To perform this, just drag it to the desired position. As long as you move it over the possible positions, a stack of pages is shown at the cursor's tip. In a dialog, you can define whether you want to drop the element above or below the current position. What is missing is the user-defined function block. To import it, select the edit, import block command. Select the corresponding file and prevent automatic renaming of tag names. You see the user defined function block was imported into the pool. Collapse it and drag it under the OS1 node. If you expand it, you see all components, the function block class and the function block diagram itself. What did we learn in this session? We learned how to insert new objects, like operator stations, process stations, tasks, or function block diagrams. How to import template files, or user-defined function blocks. How to copy and move objects, and how to insert a free graphics into operation.